Hello friends, Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Stanley Way. My name is Wes and today we're going to talk power usage and how much it costs to actually run Christmas decorations like this 24 hours a day. My family and I love driving around looking at Christmas decorations during Christmas time and I'm sure many of you do as well. But one thing I cannot seem to understand is why people turn off their inflatable decorations during the day. Now, of course, I'm not judging anybody. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But I kind of wonder why people do this. These decorations look so good during the day, and this is one reason why I leave mine on all day and all night, because they look so good. Which we can't say the same about this house. I mean, does anybody really think that looks good? And I would have to agree with this statement. But I mean, let's look at these inflatables during the day. These things look incredible. A giant elf, look at Santa, the reindeer, snowman. Now I think these snowmen, they may have a death wish. I mean, they're around a campfire, that's not too smart. And look at this one, not a Christmas decoration. But if it was deflated, that'd be a trip hazard. And of course this is Halloween, but look at that. That looks great. All these awesome looking inflatables during the day. I mean, could you imagine if those things were deflated? What would it look like? I had my suspicions, but I decided to ask friends and family why they think people turn off Christmas inflatables during the day. There was one common answer, and it's probably the same thing you thought, power usage, to save power. So I wondered, how much power do Christmas inflatables actually use? First thing I decided to do was look on the box. Maybe somewhere on the box it shows watts, amps, volts, you know, all that kind of stuff that none of us normal people really understand. First box, nothing. Second box, nothing. Maybe Grogu. Nope, nothing on Grogu. I don't know. So now what do we do? So luckily I had this power meter laying around. No, not really. I bought it from Amazon. But anyway, I'd like to help you guys out, so I bought it. Outlet 1, Outlet 2 for two appliances. You choose Outlet 1, Outlet 2 and buttons to choose up and down through all the different modes. This thing is real simple to use. All you do is plug it into the wall, let it power up, shows you your volts, plug in the appliance that you want to figure out how much power it's using. And as you can see, this appliance is using just over 800 watts at 120 volts, 6.8 amps. Now with this information and a little bit of math, you can figure out how much power your appliances use. But let's bypass the math and just use the power meter and it's gonna do it for us. As you can see, it shows you hours. That's how long the appliance is running and kilowatt hours, which is how the power company actually charges you for the power that you use. So now back to my three inflatables. Let's see how much power they actually use. So I hooked my handy dandy power meter up to them and this is what I got. 122 volts, 25 watts the whole time at 0.4 amps and I ran them for 158.9 hours straight. So how much time is 158.9 hours? Well, what I did was I wanted to run them an entire week, day and night without ever turning them off, but we had a few power outages, so it ended up being a little bit less than a week. So one week is actually 168 hours, I think. Uh, let's see, you take seven times 24. Yeah, it's 168 hours, but I promise it's really not gonna matter that much. You'll see. But what is important is what was our entire kilowatt hour usage for the whole week? Our power usage was four kilowatt hours for the whole week. Now this means nothing to normal people. So we're gonna compare this to appliances that we use every day. But first, let's remember watts. 25 watts is what our inflatables used. We'll start from lowest and go to largest. Cell phone charger. Now my cell phones, at about 85% charge. And if you let it begin to start charging, it gets up to about 5.3 watts. Not too bad. Next on the offender list is a microwave. Just sitting there with the clock running is about 2.6 watts. But as soon as you open the door, it now uses 36 watts. Close it, heat up your favorite food. All we usually do is just hit 30 second mark and it's 177 watts. Now the 2.6 watts that the microwave uses just sitting there doing nothing doesn't sound like much, but you gotta think this is 24 hours a day, every day of the year. How about a crock pot? 
Who doesn't love an awesome slow cooked meal? A crock pot on warm uses 170 watts, on low 270 watts, and on high 300 watts. And you gotta think, most people use a crock pot, they put it on low, it's sitting there for hours, most of the day, using up electricity. Now what about a coffee maker? Our coffee maker uses 800 watts of power and takes about six minutes to make a pot of coffee. And of course, the next offender on the list is a big one, a toaster oven. 1,480 watts of cooking power. But boy, do we love using it. But can it get any worse than that? Of course it can. How about a hairdryer? Seventeen hundred watts. And does she care? No. All right, so before I start a marital war, let's get back on track. Now that you have an idea about power usage, how much power Christmas inflatables actually use compared to common household items, let's see what the cost is. So for kilowatt hour cost, what you want to do is take your bill, find out where your consumption is on the bill, you'll have a dollar amount beside it, put that dollar amount out there, we're going to say $169, which was our bill last month, and you divide it by consumption. Our consumption was 1447 so you simply take the $169, divide it by 1447 which is our kilowatt hour usage for the whole month, and you come up with $0.12 cents per kilowatt hour. So, do you remember our kilowatt hour usage for an entire week with our inflatables? It was 4 kilowatt hours. So you take the 4 kilowatt hours and you multiply it by $0.12, cents, which is what the power company charges us, $0.12 cents per kilowatt hour, and you come up with... 48 cents. Kind of hard to believe, right? Now when you actually figure it up, and let's say you leave your decorations on for a full month, morning and night. You put your decorations up right after Thanksgiving. You leave them on for 31 days straight. That's still only about two to three dollars for the entire month of leaving them on constantly. So what's your usage? Your electricity cost per kilowatt hour may be more, maybe less than what mine is, but the average right now is about 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Pretty close to what I'm paying. Now that you know the true cost of running beautiful decorations like this, you can have the confidence to run them all day and all night, 24 hours a day, without it emptying your bank account. As always, we hope you have a great day and a Merry Christmas.